summertime and the living is easy. Okay, I have some summertime predictions for you for the leaving search. Oh, it's nice to be able to relax and not be facing into the most stressful, stressful exam of your life. But um, enough about me. Um, I have predictions here for the biology exam. So for biology, I have the main topics here listed on my uh, pages and the first page is ordinary level, so I'm going to start with that. Now for the ordinary level biology this year, um, your most likely topics for long questions in order of likelihood are genetics, ecology, obviously, then um, the transportational tissue in plants, plant vascular system. Uh, number four is heart and blood. Fifth topic is the eye or the ear. Basically the sense organs, but the eye or the ear are the most likely ones to be examined. Number six, the urinary system. Number seven, respiration. Number eight, lungs and breathing. Number nine, plant sex. Um, number 10, human sex. Uh, 11, digestive system. And finally, the skeleton. They'd be my main tips for the ordinary level biology. Um, I have some stuff for the short questions as well. What I'll do is I'll uh, scan this document in as a JPG and I'll put it in on the end of the video so you can pause on it and just check any things that I haven't said, if you like. Um, then, the experiments. I think the most likely experiment to be asked in the ordinary level this year is that one they like to ask about the factors essential for seed germination. It's a very popular experiment and it hasn't been asked in a while. Uh, second most likely is to show digestive activity during seed germination. Uh, number three is to dissect the heart. Then to demonstrate osmosis, to isolate DNA from onion tissue, to find the effect of CO2 concentration or light on the rate of photosynthesis, uh, a quantitative study of a named animal in an ecosystem, to show the effect of pH and enzyme action. Uh, they'd be some of the main ones I'd be focusing on this year, those experiments for ordinary level. Now, on to the higher. So for higher level biology, once again, you have the givens, which are genetics and ecology. Um, and then after that, human reproduction. Next, the breathing system. Then topic five, hormones. Uh, which, if you've looked at the past papers, you'll know that that only ever comes up as part of a question. So it might be one of the parts in question 14 or 15, most likely. Um, number six, viruses, bacteria. Number seven, enzymes. Number eight is plant sex. Number nine, photosynthesis. Number 10, the liver. 11, the urinary system. And my final topic I've predicted for this year is the heart and blood. And then I have predictions for the short questions as well, but once again with that, I'll just scan this document in the computer as a JPG and put it in the video at the end. It's the handiest thing, I think. Um, then for the experiments. The main one to look out for this year, I think, is that one about immobilizing an enzyme and using it. Um, then to show the effect of the growth regulator, IAA, the effect of light or CO2 concentration on the rate of photosynthesis, to use yeast to produce ethanol, prepare and examine a TS of a die cut stem, to show digestive activity during germination, the effect of heat denaturation on enzyme action, dissect the heart, um, then possibly some of those food tests, uh, particularly the test for protein test for reducing sugar, um, the effect of pH on enzyme action, and to show factors essential for seed germination being the 11th most likely experiment you might get this year. Um, possibly the effect of exercise on pulse of breathing rate, although I think that's, they mainly prefer to examine that one at the ordinary level. Um, so that's it, there are my tips for the biology paper this year. Good luck in your exam, try and enjoy. What I was feeling before is not good anymore.
para a 